Welcome back everyone to some more F1 2021 My Team Career Mode Season 5. We're heading into one of the most iconic circuits in this video, the British Grand Prix. It is of course also one of the most difficult tracks for the players, so hopefully we can have a good run today. We've been on a slightly unfortunate run of form recently. France, we had a DNF because of an engine issue, or rather a gearbox failure. And then we missed out on some solid points after some strategy fumbles with complicated weather in Austria. So let's see if we can rectify this situation right now. Hopefully we can have a good race at Silverstone. Before we continue though, just want to make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you press the red button down below that says subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified when I upload next. More F1 2021 My Team content will be going up regularly. So please do consider subscribing to support the channel, help me out, and also join the community that we're trying to build here. Thank you guys so much for the support and thank you for stopping by and watching this video and let's move on with the Silverstone Grand Prix. Right now the team is working very hard um, but there isn't much that we can do right now. Uh, facility wise we can make some improvements but I don't have enough money uh, to re-sign Ayrton Senna for the rest of the season so we are going to be cautious about that. Let's take a look at Ayrton Senna. He's 13 mil. We have pretty much 8 mil, 8.5 eight mil to play around with which isn't enough I think for facility upgrades because everything's around mm, fabrication is 8 mil here uh, maybe we can invest a little bit um, but yeah I'm gonna save up a bit in uh, at this moment um, let's take a look at the performance chart Aston Martin making their way up ahead of Williams if you guys take a look at the left bar there of course the graph hasn't really updated itself um, entering the Silverstone Grand Prix but Aston Martin are making some big moves here sliding in between Alpine and Williams they're a midfield team now pretty much uh, we are still ahead of Mercedes I think Red Bull Mercedes and us are pretty much fully maxed out I'm not sure but we'll have to see how we perform given our car uh, other than that I think we are looking good in the standings quite competitive given our mediocre run in form uh, mostly points finish except for China which was a bit unfortunate but we're 10 points behind Sergio Perez and 27 points behind Max Verstappen so I think the driver's championship is still within reach so we'll try to push on all right without further ado let's go to Silverstone for the British Grand Prix let's hope we have a good race weekend Welcome to qualifying at the Silverstone Grand Prix or the Silverstone Circuit at the British Grand Prix. I am not too optimistic with our chances in qualifying. Of course, this circuit is a lot faster and a lot stronger for the AI compared to the player. But considering what we did in a free practice, I am kind of hopeful that we can make it into Q2. I put in some decent lap times. Had a bit of a mishap in FP1 when I crashed the car on the exit of the final turn and into the start finish straight. And uh, yeah, I still got the practice program completed with you know purple but i crashed a car and had an early retirement early trip to the showers fp2 i also ran a couple more practice programs especially the qualifying pace and tried to look at how quick we were and we were able to set somewhere around p8 i believe so top 10 was achievable but then in fp3 when everyone else was going on softs and i was going on softs i turned out to be in p12 so i am not quite competitive enough to really push into the top 10 so I'm hoping to at least get top 15 in the first Q1 session and then maybe head on into Q2 and then head on into Q3 if we can we'll see circumstances change here and there so hopefully we can have a good one uh, Anton Senna doing well as well he's in the top 10 all the time so that is a hopeful outside for um, Super Elite Racing Qualifying will be sunny, race itself will be sunny, which is very weird for UK weather. FP3 had a bit of rain in there somewhere, I think. Weather was going to hit, so yeah, we had a rain stint. But here we are with qualifying. Let's see if we can set in a competitive lap to head into Q2. Let's see what our first lap 
does to us. P17, we're just outside the drop zone. Gotta push again. We aren't improving. We're gonna drop back into the Pele. Uh, let's put on a new set of medium or soft and let's try again. Uh, it's a bit of a pain. Okay. Almost three tenths improved. We're gonna do one final lap to see out the rest of qualifying one. Not ideal. Absolute shambles. P17, we're out. Damn it. Yep, it's a poor qualifying session. Sergio Perez with a 121.7, 122.2. For Arrington Senna in P8. Callum Island just beats us in P17. Alcon gets ahead as well after getting a slipstream from us in the final moments. I should have backed off and slowed him down, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's a poor showing from us. Uh, Latifi, Schwartzman, Aiken, Mazepin, Islet are the ones that get knocked out alongside us. It's a back over the grid start for us. I don't know. Let's see if we can have a good Grand Prix. Great Britain then, one of only two countries to have held a Grand Prix in every single year of the Formula One World Championship. And the circuit extends that record further for today's Grand Prix. The 3.6 mile long Silverstone circuit is one of the longest of the season with 18 corners in the current layout. With average lap speeds reaching around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the quickest tracks of the year. Watch out for cars taking the right handers of Abbey and Cops flat out. Joining me for today's race once again is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about the Golden Boy. That was a solid result in their last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position with Pierre Gasly alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Perez, Sonoda, Valtteri Bottas, and Norris, Giovinazzi, Sainz, Leclerc, and Lewis Hamilton, Senna, Ocon, Kimi Raikkonen, and Mick Schumacher, Stroll, Russell, Callum Eilert, and the Golden Boy, Schwartzman, Latifi, Aitken, and Nikita Mazepin. And now it's time to head down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Let's see if we can do it here. Maybe driver of the day performance incoming for sure. Let's take a look at our strategy starting on the softs. Mm, let's see. I think we can do a medium stand and then end on the softs. I want to end on the stronger compound because I have a good feeling that we are going to be quite competitive towards the end. Uh, people are going to start struggling on the medium. So let's see if we can do that. 0 0.7 laps in the surplus for fuel. Five red lights here in Silverstone and away we go immediately. Had a bit of a wheel spin out of the uh, our position here. Let's do a dive bomb here. Oh, someone hit me. Oh, stroll blocked our line off. We're up into P15. Williams is attacking us. I'm gonna squeeze him on the inside a tad bit. So much concentration going into this early stages of the drive. Stay competitive. Come on, stay within one second of stroll, please. Yeah, I can't take that flat out. Abort, abort. Oh, Jesus. Vehicle condition. No tight concerns at the moment. Just focus on the driving. Jesus Christ, Russell did a brake check on me. Had to fall back 
Lost the position to Russell after trying to take cops flat out. It's impossible in this car. Can I get Russell here? I think I can. Alright, Stroll's next. Gotta stay in one second of him. Okay, we're doing well. Staying competitive. Let's go. Oh god, that was a poor exit out of Maggots and Beckett's. We got a uh, Aston Martin right on my left. Oh, there. Oh, yo, 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 yo. What was that? We're up to P8. There's a massive crash there. Okay, clear. Lap two. There's a huge crash. They're still stuck. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS okay, we're up. Okay. We'll take it. No one DNF though. I think. Not yet at least. Ever so slowly, slowing down from Alcon, Hamilton is catching from behind. Of course, everyone on soft compound tires around me. So I'm trying to push further on these mediums, trying to stay within this gap between Alcon and Hamilton because everyone is going to pit early doors and then move on to the mediums. Oh, Nikita Mazepin's out. Does that trigger a safety car? He retired in Maggots and Beckett's. Oh, he's gone. He evaporated. Oh, that was poor. Maggots and Beckett's poor. Alright. Gotta catch up to Alcon now. Okay, here we go. Pitter. Pitting people. Raikkonen's behind me now. 0 0.7 seconds. Got it, got it, got it, bro. Let's stay ahead of Raikkonen. Cars ahead should be pitting soon. Probably this lap. Still setting some personal best laps, so... Should be still... Still. Should still be good. On these mediums. That I cannot take flat out, and the AI can. Which is quite insane. Maggots and Beckett's they have so much grip as well. Unbelievable how they can do it. Raikkonen is gonna try and get me here. Gonna block off the inside. 
send him wide. He's probably petting as well. Since he's on the softs. Yep, he is. Personal best, 125.4, very slow. Taking the lead of the Grand Prix for now. Let's see if I can be competitive. Especially now and until the end of the Grand Prix. We got four seconds to Verstappen. Let's see if we can keep this going. Oh god, Max Verstappen set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix right behind me. So he is quite rapid around here. He might get DRS this lap. Alright, here we go. I think Max Verstappen is going to get us here. Going to guard the inside line. Send him wide. Oh, he collided. He turned into me. Oh my god, you idiot. Ran me from behind. Vehicle condition. Tire condition is still looking good. Okay. Oh god, I took an exceeding track limits warning first one of the session. Oh my god. Red Bulls are having a go at each other behind us. Come on, let's go, let's go. I'm pitting for softs now. Hoping soft compound tires will give me a little more pace. These tires have been holding up pretty well. 23-24% wear. So it's not all too bad. Alright, Paris is in my slipstream. Ah, oh, second warning. I have to be clinical for the rest of the Grand Prix. Okay, just in time. We're in the pits. It's gonna be a long pit stop. I think our exit or release is around P7. Norris, Sunoda will go by. I think Alcon's gonna get ahead of us, and I think should be a close call between Hamilton Sainz, is it? Or Leclerc, maybe? Come on, quick, quick, quick. 2.8. We're gonna be behind Hamilton, I think. Oh, this is gonna be tight. This is gonna be. Ah, uh, yeah. We're behind Hamilton. We're behind Leclerc or whoever it is. And we might be behind Raikkonen. Look after these tires now. We wanna finish the race on this compound. Yep, we're behind a bunch of people. This is a bad pit stop. Alright, let's claw back. Let's claw it back. You're in the top ten now. Vehicle condition. No need to worry about time. There we go, for got now. right in. Looking good. Thought I took some wing damage, but we're good. Come on, Leclerc's 3.8 ahead. Can't catch the cars ahead. Penultimate lap. I just don't have the pace. Sliding left, right, and center. Weird. Guess the tires are at their final moments what's going on what's going on mate oh Antonio Giovinazzi's out but it's too late for a safety car to bail us out we have 
have two laps of fuel remaining. Oh dear. Whatever. Uh, my rears are swinging. So I'm assuming the tires are now busted. But hey, some points on a very difficult track on the calendar. I'll take that. 7.7 .7 ahead and 11 seconds behind me. Definitely. AI's broken here. AI's broken now. There's like, what's going on? I want to be competitive. I want some battles. But no, the AI just slows the way, slows way, way, way down behind me. And the speed's way, way, way up yeah, ahead of right. me. So how am I supposed to battle everyone here? I don't know. Early stages crash really helped me out, I think. Lap 2 or something like that. The crash then really the helped me get clear. positions. And that's why we got P9 today, I think. Let's just bring it home. Oh my god, the tires are very slippery right now. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Why are my rears going when they're only 22-20% worn? Is it temp? A little bit. Maybe I should have played with the tire pressures a little bit. Front tires are overheating. Rear and right front are in optimal range. Decent. I don't know where- oh well, I know where I'm slow. At Cobbs. I can't take this flat out. And at Maggots and Beckets. I can't drive that well. Whoa, everyone's setting fastest laps on the final lap. Pierre Gasly won the Grand Prix today. Hello. What a feat for the Alphatari driver. The car ahead is seconds. I'm nowhere near their fastest lap times to be honest. Let me see who else is going to take the fastest lap do you think? Maybe Lewis Hamilton? No. Alright, here we go. Completing the Grand Prix. P9. I'll take it. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Plenty of action here at Silverstone. It was a memorable race, and what an impressive victory. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. As we await the winners to take their positions on the podium, one thing is clear. Alpha Tori have really shown their prowess on the track. This is a team that isn't afraid to take risks, whether that's on the circuit or in the new talent they hire. Today, those risks certainly paid off. Today, Now, let's discuss, Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? I have to give it to the Golden Boy. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. Hmm, interesting look. No Max Verstappen in the top three. Uh, he was leading the Grand Prix when I pit, and I'm not quite sure what happened. He just dropped down to P5. Wow. So the Alpha Tari seems to be very strong here. Lando Norris and Perez rounding out the podium with Pierre Gasly. Sonoda in P4. You see another Alpha Tari up there. Max Verstappen in P5. Alcon, Hamilton, Leclerc, myself, and Schumacher rounding out the points today. Lance Stroll is P11. Senna dropping down to P12. Russell, Sainz, Schwartzman, Bottas, Eilert, Latifi, Aiken and Raikkonen rounding out the finishers with Giovinazzi and Mazepin not finishing the race today. Let's take a look at the standings now. We only made two points, so our gap to Pierre Gasly is growing, 38 points. Max Verstappen is 35 points ahead of us. So hopefully we can have a good Grand Prix next time out, which I believe is Hungary. So it's not going to be the greatest of tracks for me to make points, but we'll see. We dropped down to P3 after AlphaTauri having a great day in the office today. 197 points to us, 205 for AlphaTauri and Red Bull still in the lead. 
with 279. Let's see how this progresses as we enter the second half of the season. We reached the halfway mark of the season and it looks like we aren't the greatest car out there despite the performance chart showing us in P2. Um, I missed out on a lot of opportunities to make up some positions in Q2, into Q2, but qualifying was overall a poor showing from us. Uh, did well at the early stages of the race to get some dive bombs and try to get as many positions as we can early doors. Managed to keep our wing intact, which is very important, and yeah, we were able to make up a large amount of positions when there was a crash in lap 2, I think. There were a bunch of cars lined up and I had to take evasive maneuvers and go around everyone. So we were up in the points already since P2 or lap 2. And ever since I think we just had a drive of maintenance. Uh, AI seems to be broken, whichever car is ahead of me just speeds off into the distance and whichever car is behind me ends up slowing way too much and just ends up being in the back. I just don't know how to fix that. There's probably nothing I can do. It's the algorithm, the AI algorithm that's causing them to be like that, but it is what it is. I'll take a P9 today on possibly the hardest circuit on the calendar. Next up is Hungary, as I mentioned, so hopefully we'll push on, have some good laps there, and try to push for more points than just mediocre one, two, four points in the bottom half of the top 10. So hopefully we can re get really push for some solid points to push ahead towards Gasly and Verstappen. Hope you guys enjoyed the Silverstone Grand Prix. If you guys did, please leave a like, subscribe using the red button down below, hit the notification bell as well so you're notified when I upload next. More F1 2021 My Team content will be going up, so please be sure to stick around, join this community, and support the channel. It helps me out a lot and it really drives me to make more of these, and the support's been amazing so far, so keep it up. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and until the next Grand Prix in Hungary. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, I can even focus on sleeping. You're so pretty every day I'm thinking. Baby, could you help me cause I'm freezing. If it wants to see me, it's cause you're me.